Hello everyone and welcome. Hello from VoiceOver Sammy. What we will need for assembling our fish chime is thread, string, yarn, or fishing line. You can use any of these that you'd like. Any kind of scissors, needle tool or toothpick, beading needle or thin sewing needle, any kind of beads. Okay, I'm just gonna go through what we need one more time. I'm using crafting thread, and I'm gonna show you here the code for the crafting thread if you'd like to get the same exact color and the same kind. And I'm grabbing my scissors here and my needle tool, just showing you. You can use any scissors that you'd like, and you can use a toothpick if you'd like to do that as well. I am going to be using my needle tool here to try to get this through. The best thing that you can use is either your needle or your crafting needle to push this through here because I had a very difficult time. And I will show you that, that uh, beading needle and the other, like the beads that I'm going to use as well. And I do finally get that thread through here and we need to knot that a few times, just knot that a couple times to make sure it's secure. And so, yeah, I'll let you go ahead and do that. I'm just showing you here how I am going to go about knotting this thread. And it's just the same as you would do any knot, I'm just taking and putting it through and knotting it. I'm just gonna cut the extra here off and you will hear a little bit of silence in between. I'm just giving you a chance to do the work that you need to do. These are the beads that I'm going to be using and you can use any beads that you would like. This is just to kind of hold it together and that is the beading needle. It is very flexible so we can get it through certain things here and it's so easy to use. I'm just showing you here that I do have that very secure and I'm going to grab some more of that crafting thread and I'm going to be putting it through the mouth of the fish here uh, because we need one side to hold it up, like we're gonna tie it to something. And so we'll need that to tie it up to the top. So you see here, I'm putting the thread on the crafting needle so I can push it through there. And you can see, the thread is moving back on this needle. So what you need to do is you need to put the thread towards the back of the crafting needle here, the beading needle. Uh, but I did get it through, so that was a good thing, but you need to make sure to put that thread on the back of the needle. And then uh, right here, I'm just going to knot it again, put a few knots here. And then I'm just gonna do that a few times and make sure it's secure. I'm just gonna let you go ahead and do that now. Okay, I'm just gonna take the extra and cut that off of there. I'm going to get my beading needle and try, to, well, I'm sorry about that. No, we're not gonna get the beading needle. We're just gonna shove this through the mouth, but it would be a good idea to go ahead and use that beading needle because it would be a lot quicker. It's just a lot faster than using this needle tool to shove it through, to get it through that mouth there. So yeah, beading needle would be better. <laughs> Okay, I finally have that thread through that mouth there. And I'm just gonna pull this string through here. 
and make sure that I have the other side on that, like the other side of the thread on that side and then this thread on through that mouth. And I'm just going to grab that beading needle and push it through here. I'm just threading it. And then I'm going to take that bead. And as you can tell, I don't have the thread on the back of the needle, so it's not going to go through there. So I'm just going to take that thread and pull it to the back of that needle. And then I'm going to grab that bead and I'm going to put it through this beading needle. It is so easy to put the beads through this beading needle. It's so helpful. So that's why I'm actually using it. It is gr it's a great tool. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a knot here to support this needle. I don't want it moving around. I want it to stay exactly the way it is and make sure to remove that beading needle. You don't want to get poked by that. So we're just going to knot that a few times. You can see we don't want the bead to move around because it will go into the mouth. We want to keep it stable. So we're going to knot that a couple of times and I'll let you do that. I'm just showing you here what it looks like, making sure that it's stable and secure. And then I'm going to take this thread and one of the scales and put that through that scale. I'm just pulling the thread all the way through. And sometimes, yes, it, you know, your thread might get tangled up, so you're just going to have to readjust that there. So I'm just going to take this scale and move it, move the string all the way up to the very end of the fish. Just getting that secure, and I'm going to grab a bead and um, the beading needle as well. I'm just threading that beading needle and putting that bead through there. Gonna get that bead, making sure that the thread's secure in that beading needle and just putting that beading needle right through there. And be careful, please do not poke yourself with this. Beading needles are actually very sharp. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a few knots in right above that beading needle. I'm just trying to get that bead really secure on the on this fish. So I'm just going to knot that a couple times and I will let you do the same. It does take a quite a few times to get the knot just right so the bead doesn't slip through. The bead has kind of a significant hole in it, so I'm having to knot it just a few times there to get it secure. If you buy a bead with a smaller hole in it, it can be a little bit better with knotting this. I'm just trying to get this really secure. And it looks like I do have it secure here. And uh, we're just, I'm just showing you here exactly what it looks like whenever it's secure. And I'm gonna grab another scale and do the same. I'm just gonna put this thread through that scale and then I'm going to bead the, put, just take that bead and put it on that beading needle and through the thread and so I'm just going to go ahead and let you watch this and I'm going to add a little bit of music here.
I'm just going to show you here that it's supported really well and that I have it just right. And I'm showing you there that what the beads look like. And I did skip forward. I did put the other scales on there with those beads and it looks really secure to me. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add the tail to this, the, the tail fin. So I'm just going to take that thread there and get that beading needle. We're going to make sure that the beading needle and the thread are really secure and we're just going to thread that right through there and put it as close to the other bead and scale as possible. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get another bead and put it on here to secure the tail. We're just going to put that as close to the tail fin as possible. And then you'll need to remove that beading needle. We're going to knot this. We're going to put a few knots in this to secure it. I'm just adding a few knots here, making sure that it's completely secure. A few more knots will do. Just allowing you to do this as well. I'm. That's why I'm not saying very much here. I'm just allowing you to take your time and put knots here and right there where that bead is and make sure it's nice and secure. One more time, I do believe. One more time. Okay, another time. <laughs> Just going to put that through there one more time, I do believe, and then we'll be, hopefully we'll be finished with that. <laughs> Okay, that looks secure. It looks good now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and cut that extra little bit off. And here is a view of what it looks like. See you next time. Bye!